Retirement is a big question. In financial literacy, a lot of people just don't know about retirement. Don't think about it in advance. And surprisingly, it somehow or another creeps up on people. So we need to do at least three things to understand the issues concerning retirement. First of all, it's helpful if we know what the entitlements are. Obviously, they're the entitlements now, and we recognise that there is pressure in most developed nations to increase the age at which you become eligible, to think carefully about sort of means testing assets so that people don't have private wealth plus a state pension. And of course, people work on organising their affairs in a way to maximise their opportunities to get a good state pension. Right, so let's find out about the entitlements. We can do that by going to, say, the Retirement Commissioner site here in New Zealand. We could go to the Work and Income New Zealand site, WINS. We could just go to Google, Yahoo, and type in Pension New Zealand and find out what the entitlements are. We will find that the amount per fortnight for a single person is somewhere around the 550 mark after tax and if it's a couple it's not double it's around 750. Right the second thing then is a budget. We've got that in our toolkit we've looked at budgets and we understand basically what they involve the question you can ask then is what are your expenses are likely to be on retirement? Just your day-to-day -day running expenses, whether it's rent or it's house expenses which requires some maintenance, some rate paying, some insurance, some eating of food, some drinking of an ice bottle of wine occasionally, paying the power bill, etc. Alright, so prepare the budget. Now, does the budget fit the pension? Mm, I think for a lot of professionals or people that have had quite reasonable salaries, you're going to say in the early years of retirement, oh no, I couldn't live on just that benefit. So that means we need to have some wealth available to us. So, Let's go on to the second thing in our toolkit, item three, is the financial plan or the personal financial plan where we think about our goals, our objectives and translate those into money. All right, so do we want to retire and travel? Do we want to retire and play golf? Do we want to retire and do what? All right, so think about the objectives we have for retirement and how they're going to be funded in addition to the normal living budget. So that's not all going to fit in a pension, is it? We're going to have to fund it. We're going to have to save. So in the end, the likely answer is we are going to say we will need a certain amount of money as a lump sum on retirement, which we can take as a lump sum or turn into an annuity. That is, we convert it through an insurance company or elsewhere into regular payments for a fixed period, say 20 years. Right, so how much money do you want? And how are you going to save it? If we use KiwiSaver or some other private superannuation scheme, will our employer contribute? And how quickly will that accumulate? Right, so you can do that with Excel. For example, using the future value command, choose an after-tax interest rate, say 3%, be conservative. Choose the number of periods, such as 30, age 35, planning to retire at 65 and 
set the future value, FV, at choose the number, one million dollars you want, and calculate the payment. So in Excel you go to PMT in your drop down box under financial and use that command to solve the problem. And you'll find that it could be a very significant amount of money you need to save even with 30 years to go. It could be 13000 or more a year. Then you ask the question, well what percentage of my salary do I have to put aside each fortnight into a superannuation scheme to make this work? And so if you're earning $120,000, $130,000 a year and you put in 5% employer puts in seven and a half percent so you've got twelve and a half percent going in you could accumulate a million dollars in how many years All right so we need the answers to these things we probably don't need a million we might need five hundred thousand in order to supplement the pension do some thinking about it Financial literacy is not sweeping things under the rug, but bringing it out, asking the question. Doesn't matter whether you're 16 or 66, you still need to know what the benefits are. You need to know how you can structure your affairs in, an order, in order to maximise your entitlements. So once you've started to think about it, then it may encourage you to go and see a personal financial planner to get some professional assistance. But you want to be informed, you want to know what the questions are before you seek professional advice.